Han har ju vår två och ge vår kvinnor på amen. The good old days. Less than a year ago when I heard this call of the conductor sitting in a train, I knew I was going to a destination. Nowadays the entire world is on board a completely different train, the train of pandemic. This train is barreling ahead at full speed on its tracks, but the mood of the passenger is dismal because the train is taking them nowhere. It is just running through the dreary tunnel of COVID-19. Probably many on that train are asking this quintessential question, where is God and why is he not helping us? A similar question was asked way back by the disciples of Christ who were caught in a storm and very panicked in their boat while Jesus was sound asleep in the stern. The disciples woke him up and complained, saying, Don't you care that we are perishing? And Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? Don't you have faith? Dearly beloved, I cannot stress enough how important it is to employ our faith as we ride the train of the pandemic. It is our biggest challenge, especially these days, to have Jesus standing next to us all the time and encouraging us to keep up our faith. The prophet Isaiah says, If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. Dear faithful, Christians are people who are not immune to anxiety, but people who persevere through it. As St. Paul would say, but we are not among those who shrink back and so are lost, but among those who have faith and so are saved. I do understand that this storm we are sailing through brings with it all kinds of other little storms, like the storm of worrying for our children's online schooling, the fear of losing our employment, postponing our wedding plans, canceling our vacations, being deprived of spending time with our friends, so forth and so on. The greatest comfort you can have in any storm is knowing that you will never face it alone if instead of hitting the panic button, you hit the fate button. I want you all to know that there is hope. There is hope that the hurts and the pain and the troubles of life can be eased and handled if we partner with God, the Father of compassion and all comfort. So brace yourselves with hope and fire up your engine of faith Rise above these gloomy days and gaze at the horizon of promising days. All so are you all aboard on this train of faith? Then see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are almost there. Next stop, the city of hope. Amen.